In this video, we're going to talk about converting from degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds, and vice versa. So I have a table here that's going to show us what each unit of measurement represents in terms of degrees. So we're just going to start filling it out. At the very top, we have our degrees, denoted with a little circle symbol. There's one degree and one degree, and then the abbreviation is DEG. Um, a quick highlight here. These two columns are going to represent the same information, but just put a different way, and you'll see that in this next row. So moving down, we have minutes, denoted with a single quotation. And this is, I guess, one minute is 1 60th of a degree. And put another way, there are 60 minutes in a degree. Minutes are also known as arc minutes, or a minute of an arc. Um, and they can also be seen as AM. The next layer down, we have seconds, denoted with two quotation marks. And one second is one 3,600th of a degree. In other words, there are 3,600 of these in a degree. Seconds are also known as arc seconds. And they can be seen as AS. A lot of the times, this is as far as you'll have to go. This is the most granular you'll need to get. But there are two other levels that are worth noting. The next layer down is milli arc seconds. And one milli arc second is one three millionth, six hundred thousandth of a degree. So these are pretty, pretty small. And the abbreviation is MAS. And at the very, very bottom, we have micro arc seconds. And there are a lot of them in a degree. Again, these ones you won't run into as frequently, but depending on what field of study you're in, you may actually use them a bunch. And the, okay, so these are, um, abbreviation is the micro symbol AS. In the next section, we're going to look at some practice problems and learn how to convert between degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now let's convert this degree value to degrees, minutes, and seconds. From our table before, we know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes, and this is also equal to 3,600 seconds. We can basically take this part of this equation and figure out that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So now let's jump into the conversion. We have 42 degrees here and then some fraction of a degree. So all we're going to do to get the minutes is take this fraction and multiply it by 60. So let's do that here. 0.15188 degrees times 60. Plug that into our calculator, 0.11 8 times 60, and this equals 9.1128 minutes. Okay, now if we want to get seconds, we just repeat the process, but this time we take this fraction, since this is a fraction of a minute. So 0.1128 times 60 Plug that into the calculator, and that gives us 6.768 seconds. So now if we write, write out this original degree value, we get 42 degrees, 9 minutes, 6.768 seconds. Let's try another one. This time we have 98.42338 degrees. And we want to write this in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So what we're going to do is take this fraction and multiply it by 60 to give us our minutes. So 0.42338 times 60. Eight times 60. This equals 25.4. 4028 minutes.
Now that we want seconds, we're going to take the new decimal and multiply this by 60. 0 0.4028 times 60. 0 0.4028 times 60. And this equals 24.168 seconds. So our final answer is 98 degrees, 25 minutes, and 24.168 seconds. In this problem, we're going to convert from degrees, minutes, and seconds to just degrees. So to start off, we can look at this degree value, and we can just drop it down into our answer. The reason we can do that is that we know the minutes and the seconds part of this number are just fractions of a degree. So we're not going to get greater than 105, so we'll drop that down. Then to figure out what goes into this decimal place, we need to treat these two parts separately here. We need to take the minutes and divide them by 60, which is going to give us 0.48333. And then we need to take the seconds, 15.36, and divide them by 3,600, since there are 3,600 seconds in a degree. And this is going to give us 0 0.00426667. Now, we just add up these two parts, which gives us 0.4876, and that's what goes in our decimal place, degrees. Now, we have 13 degrees, 13 minutes, and 22.404 seconds. So again, how we're going to convert this is we're going to drop down our degrees into our answer. Then we're going to divide this minute part by 60. 13 divided by 60. And we're doing this because there are 60 minutes in a degree. This gives us 0.216667. And then we're going to take the seconds part, 22.404, and divide that by 3,600 since there are 3,600 seconds in a degree. And this is going to give us 0 0.006223. Then we add them up, and this gives us 0.22289. And what we can do is just take this, slide it down into our answer. So final answer is 13 degrees, 13.22289 degrees.